In this video, I will tell you more about air trade. Hi everyone, I am Jos Overschie and I work as a pump trainer and consultant at Ovedecon. And in this video I want to tell you more about air attrainment. But first I give you the definition. Air attrainment is the attrapment of gas and air bubbles and pockets in the medium due to plunging jets. I will show you an example. This is what I mean a plunging jet. You, here you see a pump pit with medium in and there is new medium plunging in in your pump pit and that will generate bubbles. I will start this video so you can see it with your own eyes. The medium is plunging in, that is generating a lot of gas and air bubbles and here underneath this chain the pump is situated and the medium is plunging it just besides the pump and that will give a lot of air bubbles and gas bubbles in your pump. It is important to try to avoid air attrainment in your pump system. I will tell you why. Gas and air bubbles can enter your impeller and possibly stay there and the result will be that your pump is delivering much less capacity or sometimes even any capacity anymore. I will show it with a video. In this video you see the suction line here and you see the pump impeller here. We are going to generate some air and gas bubbles just by a plunging jet in our suction tank and you can see all the air bubbles are going to the impeller and you can see the formation of the air bubbles in the eye of the impeller. I will start the video. Here you see the gas and the air bubbles and here you see the formation of the air bubbles and they will partially block the entrance of the impeller and then the pump will deliver less capacity. But it's also possible that, that air bubbles are going to your discharge line and in your discharge line there will be a pocket of air bubbles then your pipe friction is going up and the result will be that your pump is delivering less capacity just because of the air pocket in your discharge line. You can avoid air attrainment just by making the correct pump pit design. Rule 1. Try to avoid plunging jets in your pump pit. And if that's not possible you have to optimize your pump pit design just for example putting in a deflection plate. Once I had to do a side acceptance test of three submersible pumps. Here you see the situation on the top and here when we entering the pump pit. Normally the medium is entering from this side and on the left side you see the three submersible pumps and here in the middle you see a concrete plate and that is called a deflection plate. You see the medium is entering the pump pit. You are getting a plunging jet here and that plunging jet is deflected by that plate, the deflection plate. Because of that the air bubbles are not directly go to the pump and most of the air bubbles will dissolve before they can enter your pump. And these pumps will get a very good life just because of the deflection plate. But be aware that deflection plate has to be very well calculated. Be aware. Now you know what air attrainment is and also that it's very important to have the correct pump pit design when you are dealing with plunging jets. If you want to learn more how medium properties can influence your pump selection but also your impeller selection, we have an e-learning course for you that covers it all. 
it's the cause centrifugal pump selection. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can put your comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.